I don't have a language today. Okay, I'll say it. Guten Tag. There's German. Or should I say it? Guten Tag! Guten Tag! Here we go again. I don't have a language today. Okay, I'll say it. Guten Tag. There's German. Or should I say, Guten Tag, since German's... Ah, like and subscribe. That wasn't a word. That was James had to add on something. He already just don't want up people, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm better than everybody else. So we have a couple announcements today. Yep. Um, we're getting more equipment in. Yeah. Because we're going to do some more challenges. So more money I have spent. So... <laughs> it's going to make me feel bad. It's just the way things are. Apparently you have your car keys on the table. <laughs> I did that actually, so I don't know. But on a, on a more serious note, we are getting more equipment. Yeah, in. we are um, getting some more equipment. So. so there'll be a more like variation of things. Yeah, um, you always have to keep stuff fresh. So. Yeah, yeah. Football's the hardest one. That's the hardest one to find different challenges. I think for. baseball is. Baseball's not easy, but with the racquetballs and stuff, it helps us. I, I don't know. I'm talking about just keeping it is like interesting. Yeah. So so there's different things that we're going to. Hockey's always fun. So. Yeah, hockey is always fun, but. We have something cool that we have to present today. Yeah. So do you want to hold it up? Yeah, I can hold it up. So, we finally got our sign in. I can't see it back there. Okay. <laughs> finally got our sign in, our, our side. It's it's painted. Um, now in the future when we get a lot more money, I'll try to get it like lam a laminated, like big board with, oh, our, yeah. with our own space, like studio and stuff like that. But that's way far in the future. There's no way I can. It's gonna hold happen it. tomorrow. <laughs> There's no way I can afford stuff like that right now. So, this, we'll always keep this. I love the way the letters look. Yes. We'll always keep this, and this will be always be a reminder for the, like, the stuff when we when we first started. And this will be like our, like our trademark type thing. Or, I mean, this is really cool looking. I love it. You got the little play button. And so this microphone. So. so starting tomorrow, this will hang up right here. No, tomorrow or Wednesday. Which day are we gonna? Or, or Monday? It's just we can just do it tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay. That we'll ha we'll start hanging this up tomorrow. Yeah, we'll get us some tape. Uh, but we, we're presenting this. So that'll be today. Fun. And I guess we'll present it every day because there's some people that just watch our sports depending on what True, sport it is. True, depending on what sport it is. But yeah, so but we, we have, have our sign in. We're excited about that. The same artists. Yeah. We we thought they didn't want to do it at first, but they came back and they. They did it. I think they were concerned they were going to mess it up. Yeah. But uh, I think it looks nice. It pops on the black. Yeah, I love it. Uh, I like the colors. And we don't have any comments, but yeah, apparently I just forgot what I was going to say. Did your brain shut off or what? Oh, the March Madness. Um, I'm going to announce this in every video. I know this is a basketball thing. Yeah. And today's soccer. But for our March Madness, we got a bracket coming up. And if you want to be entered in, even if you don't play basketball, it doesn't matter. There's people that do this anyway. Trust me, there, it does not matter. A kid picked a perfect bracket last year, and he doesn't watch college basketball. So, so, oh, so we want you to go to the March Madness uh, bracket. Yeah, the video. The March bracket. Madness bracket video. It's and the leave, announcement video. The announcement video, and leave a uh, comment saying you want to be entered into the bracket, and you'll be entered into a uh, like a reward pool, yeah, and we, we're going to give a twenty-five dollar gift card away. So make sure to go to that video and leave a comment and if you want to be And it's free for you, so it doesn't even doesn't cost you anything, and you have a chance to win a twenty-five dollar gift card. So I mean, can't and go it, wrong with that. And if nobody enters, then I guess we just won't do it. I guess not, but we want people to enter that. That's gonna be fun. Good. We want to have more. Yeah, we want to have more interaction with you guys. Yes. So With that being said, let's go into our um, our talk. First, the first video we have for today. First one, first one we're filming. Depending on what which one which one you watch. We want to talk about the Champions League. Yeah, you know, we have some different stats. There are a bunch of surprises um, today. There was pretty much only one game that went, I guess, as planned in quotes is what you would say. But now, the lineups. Well, let's talk about Real Madrid and Ajax first. Yeah, of course that this, was the big one. This was the big one. Uh, Real Madrid lost four to one at home. At home, yeah, they were at home. Which you know is just absolutely ridiculous. Now they both went for a four three three. I'm on the lineups. Yeah. They both went for a 4-3-3. Uh, Courtois was in goal, which apparently meant absolutely nothing. <laughs> um, the Real Madrid just didn't play good, and I guess maybe, you know, was Zidane leaving? That might have affected him some. Might have affected the team. Yeah. Um, they've been getting kind of just... Even some stuff in the league, and the you know, the league tournament and stuff, they've been, they've been struggling here lately. But Real Madrid blew the game. Um, so the aggregate finished three to five. Yeah. 
or five to three, depending on how you look at it. Anyway, anyway Ajax went through. Yeah. So Ajax is on to the next round. I don't know if you saw the highlights, but Sean, I think that's how you would pronounce it in his like native where he lives. It would be Sean. He did a free kick, and I don't even know if he meant it, but it was from. Uh, remember the free kick that um, what's the German midfielder? He made in the World Cup where he was on the side and he curled it around into the goal. Roberto Carlos. No, no, the German uh, midfielder here in the last World Cup. Cruz? Yes, you remember the one he kicked in the in the game where he curled it from the side? It was just like that, but it almost looked like a cross, and it just went into the far upper 90. I, I don't even know if he like tried to do that, but it was ridiculous. But, I mean, it, Real Madrid just got beat up. Uh, now, the, t there were t the total attempts, 20 to 16, uh, for the statistics. Yeah. Um, eight on target for Ajax, seven on target for Real Madrid. So that's not really too much of a difference there. Uh, two block for Ajax, three block for Real Madrid. Two went off the word work for Real Madrid. Yeah, especially uh, one early. That probably would have changed the flow of the game. The offsides were seven to one for Ajax. So they seem to be attacking more. But the possession, the possession, Real Madrid 56% to Ajax is 44%. The passing accuracy was about 80 to 80. About 80 to 80, pretty close, yep. So what? It was just a well-played game. It was a well played. They put their chances away. Ajax are just more surgical in this game. They put their chances away. I mean, I don't. But there's nothing else. They're not really. They didn't dominate Real Madrid. They did in terms of score, but in terms of stats, they didn't. So, you know, looking down, clearances. Ajax 29, Real Madrid 11. That could be a big part of that, too. It seemed like they weren't clearing the ball out like they're supposed to be. It just see what it looks like is Real Madrid just didn't have good defense, and you watched the highlights. Yeah, I watched the highlights. It just seemed like the defense for Real Madrid just played. They were back. playing on their heels. They were playing back on their heels instead of you know attacking the ball. As Which the is defense. crazy for Real Madrid. I know because they don't ever play like that. It, it was weird. It was. A and maybe with Ronaldo gone, they just don't have the same. Maybe they don't have that playmaker they need out in the midfield just to take control of the game. I don't know. I don't know. But now, now to go on to. Of course, to go on to a little bit more controversial of a, of a game, uh, PSG yeah. versus Manchester United. And yeah. I don't like the way this one ended. Now, PSG kind of gave this game away. It finished 3-1 three to one in three to one. Man United's favor. PSG yeah, was 3-3, three three, so Man United got those three away goals. So they went through, we talked about before in the Champions League, if you get aggregate, yeah. if you get more away goals, you, went, you go through. And something you talked about, the, the first game, was why they didn't play Lukaku. They played him this game. And he was the star of the game. And he scored two goals. And, two and let's, three goals. Let's look at the formations. And here's why I say Lukaku should be starting. They both... Real Madrid goes with a 4-3-3. Yeah. PSG goes with a 4-4-1-1, which I think is what they went with in the, the last game. But they played with a 4-3-3. Lukaku's number nine, right? I think so. Um, But anyway, Lukaku's playing as the striker. Yeah. And... He pressed the back line. He scored two goals. He's a big man. Yep. Play with attacking formation. Play to your strengths. Uh -huh. I don't understand why they didn't do that in the beginning. Anyway, Lukaku was the star of this game. He had two goals. Yeah. One in the Seven. second second minute. Second minute. Second minute. That's right. Very beginning of the game. Beginning of the which, game. if you score in the Champions League at the beginning of the game, you're automatically ha you having advantage. That momentum and that flow for the rest of the game. Yeah. Uh, which kind of leads into the next game that we're going to talk about. But uh, Lukaku uh, scored in the thirtieth minute as well. So, here, here's the problem that I have. When you, when you, Lukaku was the star, and it didn't look like Manchester United was going to go through. It looked like they were too far back. Here's the problem. There was a handball at the very end of the game, very end of the game, and Rashford converted it. It was against PSG. Um, the guy jumped in the air to block it. His hand was about right here. Yeah, that's about how far away. It and was. you don't know if it was going to be on target. You don't call handballs unless it's, it's unless it's a scoring opportunity or they have a chance to score, which I guess they did. But it, you don't know if the ball was going to be on target. And his hand, it was kind of, it, to me, it looked like ball to hand, and I didn't see it in real time. I saw the highlight. Of course, I would in real time. That. It's harder, I guess. It, it is, and I don't want to put too much pressure on the referee because it's it's a big game. Yeah, you're there for that reason, though. But. And that situation, I don't know, man. That's just... That's hard to call that. I wouldn't have called it because to end the game on that... Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You know, going to the statistics, uh, Man United, five shots, 
four on target, three goals. So they were just sort so of they just put stuff away like they needed to. That's how you win games. Yep. And I mean, you know, they both had the same shots on target four. Uh, now, uh, almost said PSG. Uh, it was PSG. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. When I was thinking of the last game. They had 11 shots, but, you know, only four on target. Scored the one goal. They tied it 1-1 after Lukaku scored. And then it was a beautiful-looking goal. I saw the highlights of that game, too. It was just a, just a cross across the floor to the other side, and Bernat just put it in. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what to think about these games. If you have the possession was 68-32, PSG's favor, passing accuracy at 92% for PSG, so, you know, it was almost like they were, it's almost like the same thing, like they were playing back on their heels defensively. And they just gave them, and then Man United just converted their chances. What do you think? <laughs> oh, I'm looking at the next game. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I didn't have much else to say with that. Oh, yeah, there wasn't I was no. looking at the next game and the, the formation for Roma. They went with a defensive formation. They tried to clog up the midfield and the defense. Yeah. We're on to the next game, by the way. Roma versus Porto. Yeah, Porto 3-1. Porto won 3-1, and Porto went through 4-3 on aggregate. Now, in this game, Roma a Roma loss likely meant the removal of their manager. Yeah, you were talking about that. Which I always hate to say, but, you know, he went, th he went with a defensive formation, and if they conceded early, that was it. Yep. That was it for their strategy. Yep. So they did. They conceded early. So that was a problem. Um, Roma went with the defensive formation, uh, trying to clock up the midfield, and it looked like Porto went with the four four two. Yeah, it's and simple. Just, simple. And just beat them. I mean, and you know, Porto has a Casillas now. And you remember how much we hated him from uh, the FIFA we used to uh, play together all the time. <laughs> I mean, he saved everything in that game. Now, Porto, Porto did look like they just dominated this game. It they kinda, did. It they kind of told from the defensive formation that Roma went with. Yeah. Way more shots. I'm not going to go straight into everything. Way more shots. Excuse me. Way more on target. Way, well, not way more corners, but they did have a bunch of corners. Yeah. Um, possession, about 20% more. 28 uh, total shots. I mean, that's crazy. God, it was just, offensively, they just got destroyed. Yep. So Roma, you know what, it's kind of sad their manager may be gone, but they kind of deserve to lose it. Yet again, you look at all three of these games, and what does all three defenses seem like they did to you? Like I've been saying, they played back instead of attacking the ball. Every single one of them, if you look at the stats. You cannot be just completely defensive in soccer. No. You just can't do it. The players are too good, especially in like the Champions League. These are some of the best teams in the world. The, off the, off the players are too good to do that. Now, when we go into the next game, there's not much else to say about that. When we go into the next game, Dortmund versus Tottenham. Yeah. Dortmund, this seemed to be the only game that we pretty much predicted that was going to win. Yeah. Tottenham won this game one to nothing away. We seen that Tottenham was a better team, I think. I probably. Yeah, four nothing. They didn't allow a goal. Now, now I say that if you look at the stats and you look at the highlights, Dortmund had an extreme amount of chances. Uh, Lloris just played out of his mind. Of course, Lloris is always good. He's be. always a good goalkeeper, yeah. He just saved things that were just ridiculous. Some were just, James, like, just a few feet in front of the goal, and he was just saving it. So, it, it was... He did what he needed to do. And then Tottenham just scored kind of against the run of play, I would say. Uh, Harry Kane put it away. Just a hard shot. Just a good finisher, I mean, you know. Um, hard, sh hard shot near post. Kicked it so hard, the goalkeeper didn't have time to react. Um, so... Lloris was excellent. Just shut Dortmund down. Uh, Dortmund could have scored several yeah, early goals. Had some early chances early on. But, but Tottenham scored their goal. Uh, went four to nothing up on aggregate. They go through into the next round. Yeah. The first time they've been to the next round in the stage said, in eight years. You said eight years. So it was a big deal. And the only other thing I, we have to mention about the Champions League um, right now is uh, Tadic, we did Tadic. Tadic. Tadic is leading the league in uh, goals. So for Ajax, Tagliafico is leading the league in the Champions League. League. So they seem to be course. the most aggressive, at least the most aggressive. Which is working team. for them. Yeah. And maybe that's why they're going through it, because yeah. teams don't expect Ajax to be that good. You know something I was going to ask you before we left, Scott? I don't. How do they decide the next round? Is it, is it a bracket? I think bracket? they draw. Is I think it a bracket or do they draw out? I think they draw each round. Okay. 
And if I'm wrong about that, which is can, super interesting, I think I like that if that's how they do it. I, I, find, I find that super interesting. I guess if you're wrong about that, I can hear the Europeans now. These stupid Americans <laughs> don't know anything about soccer, but I wasn't sure, so I decided I was going to ask you. But, but I think I'm pretty sure they draw each round until they I, until they get to the even the semis. I think so so I don't even the semis. I think they might draw. I I, I don't know, but. That's it for our first talk. Yeah. Again, we have our logo here yeah, we that we wanted logo. to present that we're going to start hanging up uh, tomorrow. And uh, again, I want to reiterate, I'm not going to cut, cut and do an outro, we'll just do an outro here. Okay. Um, I, I want to reiterate, uh, we're doing the March Madness. If you don't know a lot about basketball, it's not a big deal. No, trust, uh, just, trust me, there, it's not a big deal at just, all if you just, don't know a lot. Just get in and pick your teams. Uh, what we want you to do is go to the March Madness uh, or basketball playlist, go to the March Madness bracket video, leave a comment in the comment section down below and tell us you want to be entered. We'll, we'll create a group on ESPN. Yeah, I'll create a group on the ESPN thing and then I'll, and, I can probably send you the link. It, I'll, I'll figure out how to do it. And whoever wins, we're going to get your information and uh, give, you a 25, yeah. give you a $25 Amazon gift card. Don't have anything to lose doing it, so I mean. So it's, it's free. Um, for you to enter. And to make it fair, what we decided to do is, okay, when we pick our actual brackets on video, we're going to have... We can announce that later. Okay. I mean, it's... Well, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I don't... We're going to each pick our own. Now, when we do it on ESPN, we're going to do one bracket We'll have together. one own comment since we yeah, like, like channel. One bracket we pick together to make it more fair so we don't have multiple chances. That's all I wanted to say. But uh, I guess that's it when it comes to sports coming, yeah. James. Um, I guess we'll see you in the next video. If you don't watch that, we'll see you tomorrow, or we'll see you for the challenge. Yep. Um, tomorrow's hockey and forfeit. Yep, forfeit. But uh, make sure to like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And leave a comment down in the comment section down below so we can interact with you guys. Yep. I hope you all have a good day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good day. Good day. Good, good day. Dog. Good dog.